Again, good morning and welcome. I'm Matthew Garrett. I'm the director of the Oregon Department of Transportation. And uh, we are here to celebrate many things. It's more than a solar array, I'll tell you that. We are celebrating uh, a much healthier investment in the transportation infrastructure, a new way of doing business. Uh, we are celebrating jobs, but maybe most important, we are celebrating our future. Uh, it is a future that sees the policies in the world in the realm of transportation, of energy, of the environment, and of, in the economic policy realm coming together, converging to power the transportation system. I would submit the future is now and it will be right behind me in the way we invest in this uh, um, solar array, this solar highway, and eventually come to a point where it is feeding itself back into the system after it's taken care of the transportation needs across the great state of Oregon. Before I get started here, I think it's appropriate to recognize some very special guests we have with us today. Uh, it, is, uh, it is truly a pleasure to have uh, a representative of the Obama administration. Federal Highway Administrator Victor Mendez has come to join us. Uh, with him is Phil Ditzler. He's the FHWA Oregon rep. Phil's a great partner with the Oregon Department of Transportation. And then we bring back home Jenny Sue with FHWA. Bring her, bring her back home to the state of Oregon. She's gone off to, uh, to share her talents in Washington working with uh, Mr. Mendez and the good folks back there. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Victor and Secretary LaHood for the $19.5 million you sent to the great state of Oregon in discretionary funds just last week. I promise you, I promise you, they will be spent well and we will put paychecks in people's hands as we spend that money. Let me quickly, so we move on from that, we have, rep, we have um, uh, a representative uh, from uh, House Representative Tobias Reed's office. Mr. Reed was a champion for this type of effort and we appreciate them being here. Len Peterson, uh, the Go Governor Kitzhopper's policy advisor on sustainable communities and transportation. Len is certainly a leader in this area as well. Uh, Gail Ackerman, my chair of the, the Oregon Transportation Commission. Uh, Susan Ackerman, uh, Commissioner with the Public Utility Commission. Tim Wood, the Director of uh, Oregon Parks and Recreation. Tim, thank you for being here. Uh, then my uh, fellow Director, Bob Repine, of the Department of Energy. Mr. Repine and I spent a lot of time navigating the waters uh, to get to where we are today. We also have folks from Senator Wyden and uh, Senator uh, Merkley's office and truly appreciate their time. Jim Pyro, the uh, President and CEO of Portland General Electric. Just an outstanding partner in this effort with, uh, with ODOT here. Rich Brown, Senior Vice President for the Bank of America. Again, the underwriters, the financial arm, a strong partner here. And then Dr. John Reynolds, the President of the Board of Directors for the Energy Trust of Oregon. Again, putting forth the educational, the incentives to continue to breathe life and move from the rhetorical to the tangible, and that's what we're doing here today. You know, it was just three years ago this month uh, um, that Oregon celebrated the groundbreaking of the first solar highway project in the United States. If you've come from the Portland area, you drove by it at the junction of I-5 and 205. Uh, we made it real. Success breeds success. That's why we're here today. I want you to know that that solar highway uh, project is helping reduce the carbon footprint because it uh, reduces the reliance on fossil fuels, energy independence, renewables, very important underpinnings, foundational to this effort. Since the first kilowatt was uh, produced by that solar array up the road, carbon dioxin, uh, dioxide offsets have been the equivalent of planting 6,000 trees. And that project included just 594 solar panels. Today we celebrate a groundbreaking uh, for Oregon's next solar highway project, which will have nearly 7,000 solar panels, producing 2 million kilowatts hours uh, this first year economic benefits, environmental benefits, transportation benefits. With the Baldock Solar Highway, we're accomplishing more than a solar array. As I said, we are supporting local businesses, local workers, and this state's economies. Uh, today's solar highway, much like the one up on I-5 and 205, is an all Oregon project. What do I mean by that? It is made in Oregon, it is built by Oregonians, and it will serve Oregonians. I think that is significant. Finally, and I'd be remiss if I didn't do this, I, uh, I want to recognize my ODOT team uh, for their involvement, their vision, 
in creating this program and again breathing life into it. I would ask you to, to raise your hands as well. They're going to be scattered throughout the, uh, uh, the group here, but uh, from our ODOT Innovative Partnership Program, Allison Hamilton, this is where it started. Let me just pause here. This is the champion. Allison, you come up here for a sec. Allison is one of those people that asked the question, what if? What if we do this? And it came from, I think, the television show Nova, looking at the opportunities that were presenting themselves over uh, in Germany, and taking that idea and planting the seed here. What if we do it in the state of Oregon? Allison, you made it happen, my friend. Now, complimenting Allison, Lynn Overback and Jim Witte, and then finally from Five Stars Consulting, Lynn Frank. These are all folks that help breathe life into this project. We would not be here today without them. These things just don't happen. They're made to happen. And they're made to happen by hard, the, the, the hard work of the people, not only at ODA, but at PGE, who were willing to stand up and walk down a pathway, a road that was never taken before. Thank you.